guys on the phone. Did someone just get, he's on a flat and he's just mobbing. I mean, far, I think someone is inside of this right now. Dang. That guy was staring at me. Oh wow, there's even more squad cars right here. We got the whole situation sewed up. So oh, ridiculous. Dang, look at that. That's like a new car, spray painted. Don't, don't. Nope, that is a cop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, yep, sorry. They're pulling up on me. I don't know, hold on, let me do a little. I don't like the way that he did that left. What is homeboy doing? They're stopping. Dude, that is crazy. I can't really even tell what it is. Whatever it is, it's right here on the right. How we doing, folks? Welcome back to the channel. As you can hear in my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I have a one hour mashup of content for you guys today. We are on the last three weeks to win this bike. This is my Ultra B, which is basically brand new, 45 kilometers on the odometer. Bike is fresh. First link in the description is where you can get a chance to win it. Lower 48 states, official rules are on the website. If you haven't got in, now is your chance. Also, if you have, you can enter up to 500 entries. I don't know if everyone knows that. So if you wanna maximize your potential to be able to win this, don't miss out, don't wait to the last second and then forget. I just want everyone to have a shot to win this incredible bike. It is sick and it can be yours. So if you want more details, first link in the description, every $1 spent automatically considers you to win. Nothing else you gotta do. That said, let's get on with the video. Here we go. And we're on folks, let's go. Let's go, let's go. What does the city have in store for us today? Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, we'll bottom out right there. All right, so we're gonna start off by going straight this way. Uh, out here a little bit later than I would like to today. It was raining and extremely windy. It's a little bit windy out here today, but it's not that bad. It's definitely enough or not windy enough for us to be able to get around smoothly for the most part. If it picks up from this, well, I guess we'll see. It was raining all weekend. I really wanted to get out on Saturday or Sunday to uh, make some content, but it was just not possible. Rather, we got rain in LA, but we have a beautiful week coming up for the next foreseeable future seven days at least if not longer than that so i see a police helicopter in the distance and i i'm not sure if i'm not mistaken i think i hear sirens too oh yeah there's a police helicopter real low up there you guys see that let's get up there it's another day in the city the second you get down here that actually scared the heck out of me i don't i thought that that was the sound of like a car crashing or something Oh, you guys see that helicopter up there? He's super low. And it looks like he's on this street, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're right here on Washington. This is on the edge of the freeway. The 10 freeway is right here. That's the one I usually take if I start closer to downtown. I'll wrap around and park somewhere in the cut, go from there. So if we hit a right anywhere off of this street, we end up in historic South Central. From where we're at right now, we keep going straight. We go to Alameda Street, which is ultimately where I want to check out. And that's where we will be checking out. But first, Looks like there's uh, some police activity right here. We're almost there. We, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's about that time in the city where traffic is unbearable. Okay, we're pretty much there. If you guys see that helicopter, it's right above us. It's going to sound crazy once we get underneath that thing. going to pop back off in the street right here. We, have, we see police. I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, but I see police flying up here. Okay, so whatever it is, it looks like it's up here on the right. We're on Central and Washington, so uh, we're approaching the cut. By uh, the cut, I mean the cut. Uh, <laughs> if you know the cut, you know the cut. Yep, there's the ghetto bird, nice and low. Wondering what could be possibly going on. I could check my phone right now and take a look at citizens. I think we're going to figure it out if we just get across this next street. Hear sirens to the right. About to have green light, but it sounds like a police officer is coming up high. Look, okay, I'm assuming this is like a situation because this bird is getting lower and lower. Usually, when it's not a big deal, they hover higher than that, but he's pretty low. More squad cars coming up to the right. Two of them. That guy was staring at me. <laughs> Could it be the orange hoodie? Oh, we're right behind the police car, so whatever's going on, we are about to run smack dab into it. Looks like there's people hopping out right here. I don't know if these are officers. Looks like they're all kind of like jumping out right here. Let's see if we can hop on the curb, or if this will be a fatal idea. Oh wow, there's even more squad cars right here. 
They got the whole situation sewed up. Interesting, that bird's nice and low. I mean, I have no idea. We're gonna go up to the next corner, and I'm sure it's on Citizens. That app is insane, bro. It just, it posts everything so quick. So let's go up here and check out if, um, if we could see what it is. I'm not sure how, I think it's just like, there's a person who works for the app and they just check the scanner all day. Okay, so there's an incident right here next to us. Oh, there it is. Report of armed robbery at dispensary. Definitely uh, the type of police response you would expect though. Cops all over the place right now. This place is swarming with LAPD. We're going to go ahead and just keep going from here. Not much for us to see there. We, uh, <laughs> we kind of just stumbled right into that. The amount of times that I just hop out of the car and start my video and there is like a full blown police standoff situation or or something involved in the helicopter down below the ghetto bird just above the ground is uh is dramatically higher than zero you know it's much higher than zero <laughs> it's definitely definitely happens more often than one would think it would occur so we're gonna get a side shot this is how it looks from the outside look at the amount of squad cars lined up right here i think this is an undercover yeah that is an undercover one two three four five six seven eight i mean tons Yeah, definitely a big deal. Whatever, uh, whatever they got going on is uh, gonna be a long day for those gentlemen, to say the least. We're going to start getting a little funky on our route right here. We're gonna cut over here by the freeway. I'm going to examine some routes that we haven't been in a while. And ultimately we're gonna jam down Alameda. There are a couple side streets when I did that initial ride that I wasn't able to check out. There's just so much stuff to see in these parts of town. It's, uh, it's very interesting for someone who's never been here, like uh, many of you watching this. I know many of you have never been to LA, and if you have, well, I always take you to places you've probably never been before and show you things that you haven't seen, like this uh, little camera that we just kind of stumbled upon right here. We've got a nice bike. It's look clean. We got that, the sound of that helicopter is just drowning out all other sounds I hear right now. I'm sure you guys can hear me loud and clear based off of my knowledge of uh how the gopro sounds when it's real loud but that thing is just whoo it's there look at that alley right here let's check this alley out it actually looks kind of cool i remember this sidewalk right here so i know i've been down here at least once or twice hey how you doing you know but let's check it out again i see a bunch of glass and mystery liquid so i slowed down to avoid those What is right here? I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I have no idea what's right here. I thought it was like a car, something for cars. I can't really even tell what it is. Whatever it is, it's right here on the right. Oh, I'm getting tanked up. Okay, well, looks like that's what's going on there. I didn't need it. Okay, unplanned things that just pop up when we're out riding. That's, uh, that's something that's going on there. We are either going to censor their faces for their own safety or, you know, for whatever. Huh, what is going on? I, it's hard to really tell. That's a nice GTR. I think sick, actually. Parks actually going to turn around, go back the way we came. Looks like they're trying to jump their car, possibly. I'm lucky. You guys hear that helicopter, right? I mean, it's pretty hard to miss. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely doing circles. All right, we're gonna shred a little bit. We are right here on Naomi Avenue and 18th Street. So uh, yeah, the 18th Street is uh, relatively famous, but not for reasons you might think. Treacherous roads right here. There's a lot of trash right there. Under that ordinary, and then there's a uh, big clumps of rock. I, I thought that was poop. It's impossible to tell out here sometimes, you know. I, I mean, that's uh, that's it. Okay, back right here along the 10 freeway. This is it right here. Uh, up ahead is a spot where it caught on fire. Look at this setup they got right here. Oh, I think they have like a radio tower or something. I think that's a satellite antenna. 
if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty high tech. Uh oh. Whoop, yeah, you guys know how I feel about that. It's not as if we could pass through there anyway, but once I see a pit bull that size, I am good. I'm trying to even think about maneuvering through there. Bunch of pallets. So they say these pallets like this uh, are the source of what caused that big freeway fire that happened just over here. We're on Hooper in 17th Street. The big fire occurred not too far from here, but it wasn't right here. There's so many ways I want to go check out from right here. We're just going to keep chugging along this street for now. A lot of you remember I came by here and there was a Metro bus that they hijacked and just uh, left abandoned right here. That was a while ago. They cleaned it up quite a few months ago. That was almost a year ago. That's how long I've been out here on this route doing this on the Surround. Almost a year ago. I smell fire. I have a strong fire smell in my nose currently. And I think it's coming from right up here on the left. We're going to check it out. This entire scene is a little wild. This is very Mad Max-ish feeling. Oh man, that's strong. I don't know what they're cooking right here, but it doesn't smell good. Yeah, that's wild, man. We're actually gonna double back this way because uh, if we go straight right here, we turn back onto Washington, and ultimately we're gonna end up on Alameda anyway. We do have an alley right here, though. This looks like, uh, I don't even think that's an alley, actually. I think that's an entrance to someone's private property. That's something I tend to try to avoid when I'm out here, getting too much on private property. Most people are not that friendly about it, <laughs> to say the least. It's, uh, you know, I mean, people aren't friendly about it anywhere, but especially out here, they're so used to having people come and break into their stuff, and dude, that is crazy. The size of this camp and the amount of trash right there. It's kind of wild. Half of it was, like, charred, like it had been caught on fire recently. But uh, yeah, they don't take kindly to strangers in these parts, so to speak. So we got two routes right here. There's this road right here, which I'm gonna show you guys, even though I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but we're gonna slide through here real nice and easy. Last time I came through here, there is a, a fire right in the middle of the street. Otherwise, pretty chill. I didn't know if those were rats or pigeons in the middle of the street, they were pigeons, so. We good. All right, so back up on 15th Street. We're in areas that we uh, we kind of hovered around a little bit before. We're gonna start making our way directly to Alameda from here. Then we're gonna cut a right and go south for a little while and see what we're running into. Maybe another police standoff. Who knows? Only way we're gonna find out is if we go. So let's go. Right here we have the RV row. This has developed quite a bit from the last time I came out here. It's now full. There used to be a little, uh, a few gaps in the parking right here. But now it is, uh, it's completely booked. They just instituted new rules in certain parts of LA that completely banned RV parking. But uh, I just don't see it being applied out here. I really don't. I don't see anyone caring even. Like, even if they really try to enact it, they're just going to shuffle around and continue to move out here. There's no getting rid of, of this. It's just part of uh, LA culture at this point. And it may not sound good to, like, accept that, so to say. But, I mean, I just can't even remember a time now when I've come to downtown LA and not seen the, uh, the RVs. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been at least a decade since... Uh, I haven't seen something like that, and now they're just very normal. All right, we're kind of getting funky. We're right next to the freeway. We have a, um, a door right here. This feels like Pan's Labyrinth or something. Like, what happens if you go through that door? You just go to an alternate dimension <laughs> and just enter a, a different reality. You know? You, touch, you probably really will once you get a whiff of whatever the air smells like in there, too. You're going to be in a whole another dimension. We're zigzagging on some streets right here on the edge of the freeway still it's kind of killing time because there's so much traffic i want the traffic to die down a little bit it may not but we're gonna at least try and let it happen there's a lot of cool artwork right here too i was hoping to check out but it looks like a lot of it got painted over like uh or at least covered over like this this right here some cool artwork there but can't see it i mean this is uh oh it's been in the corner hot right here Oh man. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know. It's another day in LA, you know? That's uh that's all I can say about that. We got a 
same route we just came down. Let's go ahead and tear out this way. Another day in LA, folks. What else can I say? Working on the minivan. Oh, this is open. We can actually go back there. And I'm pretty tempted. I mean, first off, let's just check out this, uh, this area right here. Look at this immense amount of trash. It looks like it was on fire too. I mean, name one thing that we've been out here that's not been on fire lately. This is just like, wow. I mean, I don't know. Looks like we can peek in here. So I'm gonna stay right here. I don't wanna actually go beyond the gates. This would be fun to shred down, but there is a, oh, he's driving off. That's almost like a sign that uh, he wants me to come check it out. There's some people living here. Let's just briefly take a spin. This is kind of like unincorporated land, I think. I've never, ever, ever been here in my entire life living in LA, so this is interesting. Not much to do, though. A little bit of dirt. We're good on that. But this trash, though, just like, wow. You would think this looks like a, this looks like an AI-generated image, right? Like, you just go to one of them new AI things, and then you're like, put a bunch of trash. <laughs> it would, like, literally look just like this. It looks like the same three piles of trash just repeated over and over there's some mystery white liquid that i really do not want to get my tires on bro i started keeping my sir on outside <laughs> i bring the battery in i put a tarp over the bike and i leave it outside because i just don't i genuinely used to lysol the tires down every day when i took it out of the car because of the absolute disgust that you ride through in la it's truly nasty and you think about it like the places that I ride are just, they're just off the wall, right? Like it's just places that most people wouldn't even consider to go in a car, right? And I go ride to these places. So I would always wipe my tires down before I brought my bike inside. But now I'm like, dude, it's just, it's just, it's just so dirty. Like I can't even, I feel like it's just permanent, like disgust etched into the bike. There's nothing else to do. Uh, this is the freeway exit. So it's a little hectic right here. I think we're trying to cruise through. I mean, to be honest, I don't really, I don't really know about going this way today. There's gonna be so much traffic until we get to the good part in Alameda. It's like a regular, it's like a traffic day, right? Last time we came down here was a Sunday, so I think it was much chiller. Right now it's like insane, the amount of cars that are right here. So I'm not really, I'm not too enticed on coming down this way. Um, I think we're gonna cut back up on Washington and maybe we'll take a side route or something. The wind is starting to pick up. I'm gonna just walk in the middle of the street. Hey man, get it how you live out here, brother. Ugh. Again, popping on the curb. Let's see, let's go through this jungle right here. Let's, uh, let's tear through this. Oh. oh man, straight through the glass. I rode through so much glass and goat horns on this bike the other day, and it's still fine. These stock tires are so good. Like, I, I'm actually impressed with them every single time I ride through here. So this is um, part of that railway that I was talking about last time I came through here. It goes uh, in a couple different directions. First, we're gonna just go down the street. I mean, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that a boat just uh, just on the street? Is that is that a boat? That is a boat, right? Bro, uh, uh, <laughs> let's take a let's take a second to look at this. There's a boat. Oh God! Look! Oh, oh uh. dude. This is just, this is just hectic. First off, they got booby traps, so if you were walking and weren't paying attention, <laughs> who knows, that might electrocute you or something. Let's go ahead and pop up right here. Oh, oh crap. Okay, this is a boat. Yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I wasn't wrong. It's a boat. This is a boat just parked on the side of the street. This is not, I mean, charming. That's all this building says. There's tons of barbed wire. It's a little bit something was on fire right here i <laughs> said hey go figure we need to, i swear we need to make a bingo card maybe that's something that i'm gonna put on my website an la bingo card and you guys can fill it out you can fill it out at home as i go along my video that's actually a great idea i gotta i gotta look into that um yeah so okay we have a boat there's that let's uh let's go ahead and, let's take some of these side streets these ones are, are pretty interesting too i was hoping to go a little bit further down alameda but it's very hectic right now i don't even know what to say it's just uh it's just pure chaos going that way so let's explore some of these side routes we'll see some cool art we're gonna see uh maybe some other things i don't know Only one way to find out and that's by going i think this is the same art that was up here last time let's go ahead and check this street out 
We're gonna go in a lap around it though. I don't know what this building is. It looks like uh, something interesting. How you doing? This guy's a little apartment, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we're gonna do this. There are some ways to get down there. If we wanted to, there's uh, a couple of openings on the road as far as traffic or like windows where we can ride through. So we're gonna go up here and make a right. I just wanna look at the artwork on the street real quick. That's just beautiful, man. I don't even know what else to say. This is sick too, I love that. It reminds me of like, Bro, I thought that was a person jumping out after me. That was a freaking, the wind blowing something over. <laughs> Dude, I spun around so quick, I almost got a cramp in my arm. I was ready to throttle it. <laughs> well, I wanted to see what it was. The sound of it falling, I thought that was a dog. So I was like, oh man, I'm about to, is it about to be a dog chase? Let's go. Not the right bike for the job today. I'm telling you, man, anytime I'm, <laughs> if I'm not somewhere where I am confident that I will not be getting chased by a dog, I'm taking a sir off. And the thing is, there's so many places where you could possibly get chased by a dog in where I go ride that, uh, it's just about impossible to take any other bike out nowadays. There's so much glass on the ground right there, jeez. All right, so we finally made it to Alameda. It's this street right here on our left. We're going to chill as we put down because most of the streets that I wanted to check out were just right turns off of the main street when I was coming down here the other day. And uh, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit because it is just too fast of traffic. And everyone's actually trying to get somewhere. I'm just out putting along. If you've ever driven in LA traffic, you know what I'm talking about. Like it's. It is very cutthroat right now, so I'm not trying to be involved like that. I'm just, uh, just out here having a little chiller. Anyway, let's start taking some of these left and right, see if we see anything interesting on these back streets. We may, we may not. We don't know. So I'm going to change the flat tire right there. I mean, I'm still tripping out on the fact that we saw a boat sitting on the side of the road. That is probably one of the strangest things that I've personally seen while riding out here as of recent. Oh, this is that artwork that we passed by. There's a, uh, yeah, we came here the same day of the ride. Okay, so that means that we're on Long Beach Avenue. Not Long Beach Boulevard, but Long Beach Avenue. This turns into a different street if you keep going south, but right now it's Long Beach Avenue. How you doing? Oh, look, look at homie's car, bro. This thing is outrageous, dude. That thing's so cool. Donked out. Bro, <laughs> yeah, that thing's sick. Oh yeah, he gave me the nod, that's right. <laughs> Bro, you don't see cars like that that often out here. Not even out like uh, down in the hood, like in, in South Central, Long Beach. It's rare to see donks. That's like, you know, that's a Southern thing. Atlanta, maybe Louisiana. So it's cool to see that style out here. Dan the man would appreciate that. He's a Florida cat. They got all those in Florida. This is an interesting street. Look, there's a liquor store right there. That looks like it'd be a movie scene liquor store. Well, look at this truck. Look at what's going on right here. I can't even tell exactly what's going on right here. You would think someone's living out of it, but I think it's just storage. You got a bunch of batteries. Yeah, I think that is someone living there actually. Now I got a better look at it. Or maybe it's stuff for sale. I can't tell. I saw some laundry machines there on top of them. I, uh, you know, things you see in LA. You guys got to remember, I am on public roads. We're out in public. None of this stuff is secret right if they wanted it to be secret they put it behind a fence in a backyard inside of a vehicle so it's not like i'm invading on privacy by riding around and we're here in public i mean go study the law if you don't know that's just how it works that's why bro it's bumping this is a interesting route i smell fire there's a fire burning right through here let's go check it out this is uh not an active railroad we can probably wrap around. That'd be a better idea. I'm going into the sun right now. Can't really see where I'm going, but they have a fire burning. Now this is how fires start to get out of control in LA is when, you know, folks just start a fire for whatever reason. It's a very nice afternoon. It's like 66 degrees. It's warm already. I don't, not really sure why they started a fire. I doubt it was to cook, but uh, this is a very industrial area. So even if the fire department came, I think the closest closest fire department to here would be Skid Row. And that's kind of a ways off. Oh, they put it out. They put it out quick. Okay, well, good for them. This is the railroad that I came down that day too, so we could turn around and go back down it that way if we want, which we may. Let's go up here a little bit and see what's going on. Got one of these. I would love to jump off this, but uh, you know, I think I'm good today, <laughs> so to speak. Junkyard right here, scrap metal, turn in, recycling, stuff like that. We're gonna hit a left right here on Long Beach Ave. 
No, we're not. It's actually flooded still from the rain today. You guys see that? I just don't want to go through that, so we're not going to go through that. Instead, we'll double back and we'll take the <coughs> we'll take the railroad. <coughs> I'm coughing a little bit from the smoke from that fire. <laughs> I don't know what they're burning, but oh, it's like in my lungs. <coughs> oh man, that's uh, that was a little scary. You can still smell it from over here. I don't know what they're burning, but this did not smell good at all. Let's go ahead and get through here. Uh, we're gonna get a little tires real wet. Trying to keep the tires dry because even though they are decent, they're just not that good once they get wet. Well, let's see, we can go this way. Or we can go this way. I think I'm gonna go this way just because I can see where I'm going. How you doing? <laughs> Bro was amazed. <laughs> well, I don't know what they're burning, but it smells super toxic. I'm sure it's not good for them to be breathing that. Oh. Rocks are... Those rocks are not that fun to ride over, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of exciting, but it continues to go that way. Right? Once you go this way, you're really getting in no man's land. I think we might creep down there a bit, or we're going to at least feel it out, but this is where... Even someone like me, where I consider myself to be very aware of what's going on at all times, you can get caught slipping out here. How you doing? So, uh, you can't access the sidewalk right here. I think it's just, it's just understood that you can't ride through the sidewalk in some of these areas. No one's even trying to. It, suck if, it would suck if you had to walk right here, though. You have to walk on this busy street. This is Alameda. You come walking here at the, right, at the wrong time. Someone on their phone will take you out. They will just plow right through you like you didn't exist. Anywho, back on an open road. This is fun. This is a place I've never been. So we're checking out a couple new areas today. This is a very industrial part. This looks like uh, they're pretty tight on what they're allowing to slide over here. And by that, I mean like literally nothing. There's one abandoned truck right there. I would assume someone's living in it, but hard to tell. A little bit more outskirts of life over here. Just people trying to survive. We see it every day we get out and ride. Just people just trying to trying to keep it moving. It's actually a little dirt route we're gonna hop on right here. I feel like a bunch of stuff in my tires, which is not good. But we're out here adventuring, baby. That's all there is to it. Okay, this goes both ways. I see a kitty cat. I hear whistles. There's also smoke in the air. There's like ash floating around. I hear whistling. I'm getting whistled at. If someone's whistling, to let me know. Or to let others know that I'm here. So let's go ahead and dip. For those who don't know, when you hear whistling, when you're riding anywhere in LA, be it South Central, uh, Compton, pretty much any neighborhood where you know, you kind of, you're getting involved in the scenery, so to speak. Once you start hearing whistles, that's like, uh, that's a sign that you are possibly getting taken. We're just uh, out here getting sketched. We got to get back across the street one way or another. Back on 20th, we're actually going to start doubling back. I think I got my hoodie on, hicksband.com. You want to stay warm like me out here in the streets when it gets breezy. Anyways, we're going to go this way. There's like a building being built up ahead. This is the active blue line, so I'm just checking to make sure we're good before we cross here. One of my biggest fears in life has always been getting hit by a train, which is like, that's the hardest thing to get hit by, right? It's a train, like there's, there's a thousand signals before it comes and hits you. That it's coming. Most people would be like, you know, aware that a train is on route, but still one of my fears. That's why you always see me creeping very slowly whenever I'm crossing a railroad track. All right, southbound we go. We're right close to Washington, which is where we're gonna ultimately end up. We're just checking out some other weird streets that uh, I haven't ever really been down, ever. There's so much there's so much area in this part of town that I have just not checked out at all. I'm gonna hit this right. I'm going into the sun too, which is just not ideal at all. I just can't see where I'm going. <laughs> oh look, two dogs. Uh-oh. Dude, what the heck? They didn't even look straight. It looked like they were like, they knew exactly where they were, but they're just outside of the street, 
by themselves. What's up with that? But if you notice, we're already back in the residential area, which is crazy, right? How close this is to all this like industrial stuff. Like, it's gonna be good for your lungs to be breathing in whatever is coming out of these uh, these roads all the time. That's uh, that's my two cents. But you know, what do I know? I'm just an idiot YouTuber. We got another alley right here. Looks like you got a pet cat. Hello. <laughs> she got a little pet kitty. Interesting. Oh, but we're dipping down an alley. I mean, we're just... <laughs> I don't even know how, what brought us here, but you know. Destiny. That's one way we could put it. Divine intervention. The universe wanted us to come down this alley, and now we are. And we're about to go down the next one, too. When in doubt, alley it out. You know, that's what I always say. Let's go ahead and creep through. I'm just trying to avoid going this way for now, because I cannot see where I'm going. We got some wet ground up here. Oh man, we just flew through so many bugs. That sucked. I actually know exactly where this alley goes and we're not gonna take it. It dead ends and it sends us into another direction that we don't wanna go. So we're gonna turn it around, go back this way. Holy crap. That was a close call. You know what I mean? It's starting to heat up. <laughs> what time was it? I swear it was early when I came out here. Dude, I'm not outdoor cycling. <laughs> Apple Watch always thinks I'm working out. 4.30, yeah. We're entering rush hour immediately, so. Go ahead and exit stage left from the city. Titling it out, that's right. That's where that alley would have ended us up at. We're up here on Central. Look at that cow. Moo. We got another alley we could tear down. We've been down that one before. We've been down actually most of the alleys right here, so we're just gonna try and, uh, oh, that's a nice looking apartment they're building right there. We're gonna double back to, uh, Washington and start getting up on oh god we got completely splashed right there not fun all right 21st street it is Let's see how far I gotta go gonna take a couple of these alleys on the way back why not we just came down this one the other day and it's still a little bit dirty overall not too bad got a couple of routes we could take this one looks a little wet but I think we can traverse it I know I usually don't complain about wetness because usually I'm out here wearing boots, but today I'm just wearing sneakers, so. Whoa, big dogs. I also got sweatpants, so I'm not really trying to get soaked. That would be uh, not fun, not in this stagnant water. Piles of stuff, a little bit of gang tagging right there. Don't even have the water. Let's keep going. We haven't really noticed much tagging today because we've been in very, you know, industrial areas. But now we're getting back into historic South Central. You're going to see a little bit more of that if you're paying attention. But for the most part, we're just mobbing through. I thought they were pulling up on me. I don't know. Hold on. Let me do a little... I don't like the way that he did that left. What is homeboy doing? They call me paranoid, but... <laughs> when I see people driving weird ways around me, I pay attention. I'm going to go past this right here. See, is he pulling up? Nope, we're good. Hey, sometimes I just gotta watch them back, you know? Trust me, I see more than you guys can see on the GoPro. I'm very aware of what's going on. Look at these two six Chevys back to back. Dude, incredible. Man, yeah, someone's got some good taste right here. I wonder if this one's his too. Beautiful, love it. Anyways, let's go. How much to see in these parts? We got one more alley. Might be worth checking out. Let's do it. Back in civilization, pretty much. We got downtown very close to us now. Truth be told, we uh, we just dead ended ourselves. Huh. Good thing I'm not getting followed. At least if I am, I'll find out right now when I turn around. No, we're good. Well, and I just rode over a bunch of glass. That did not sound good. Ay, ay, ay. Luckily, we have gotten plenty of flats on the surround. We know dang well we can mob it out if we uh, get a full-on flat tire on this beast. Hey, I love your dog. Your outfit is cool, too. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Bro, she looked like a character out of a video game. That's incredible. How you doing? Okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs>
Dude, he spit that game. Good for him, bro. <laughs> ah, dude. It's rare that I catch him a little fly on the wall moments like that. That was a funny one. All right, well, we scoot along back to where we begin. We got downtown LA right there glowing at us. I don't think we'll be going over there today. I'm just uh, not feeling it. We're gonna stay on the outskirts until we make our way back. We slowly cruise along right here. We gotta slide through safely. And, uh, with the amount of traffic coming in, that doesn't look too easy. Excuse me. Hi. Thanks. Right here. When he's dipping on the bike, you got a scooter in hand. Good for him. LA things, you know. <laughs> Just, uh, if you slow down and actually look at all the stuff I see on my rides, I see most of the things going on. But when you're watching on camera, like you gotta you gotta look around the edges of the frame, right? To see all the things that are happening at any given moment when I'm out here riding around. You'd be surprised how many things are happening at once, right? There's tons. We're really just chugging along right now. We're kind of trapped. It'd be really hard to get over to the other side of the street right here. So we're just scooting along down Washington, checking out the sights. It's a nice day. I'm glad I came out today. It's just a beautiful day uh, for a ride. Take a step outside right now. If you're in the house watching, you've been inside all day. It's a great opportunity to go outside, stretch your legs. If you can, you know, I know some of you guys are watching at work or whatever, but after you're done watching here, go outside, take a breather, you know? Like a homie hauler. Mm, bro. <laughs> All right, folks, lock it in. We're about to have a banger of a day. If you're excited for today's content, make sure you hit the like button. And, of course, watch to the end because it is going to be a doozy of a ride today. Let's see what happens. First, we got to get through this traffic. We're right here on Fig. That's where we're getting started. What's going on here? This guy's on the phone. Did someone just get hit? Like a car accident or something? I think I just standing there and this car has got its hazards on, stopped. Yeah, I think someone did hit him. He just he just stopped in the middle of the road. And we got a Brinks truck. Hello. Don't mess with them. Real quick before we head straight into the neighborhoods, I want to go over here. This is UFC, or at least like the outskirts of it. I'll never really come over here, so let's uh let's just take a quick spin before we hit the neighborhoods and see what's going on in this part of town. Why not, right? Why not? Oh, we got a Willie Kid. This looks fresh. Big car accident. I, I think I saw this on the scanner when I was coming down. It said uh, car versus pedestrian accident. This looks like it was bad. I wonder if the scooters had something to do with it. I don't trust these scooters as far as I can throw one of them, which is uh, probably decently far, actually. This intersection is super sketch. People come flying down here, and as you can see, it's got like eight different lanes so easy to get confused anyway this is usc we're not going to go into the school right now uh we are going to dip a little bit through this side which is like the science center and something else Just a little bit of sightseeing before we get down and dirty into the neighborhoods these kids know something i don't i am spooked about just uh, jaywalk uh you know what's funny i recently learned this jaywalking is legal in la but it's sketch man i don't know why they would make that i mean i wouldn't say it's legal but it's like no longer a ticketable offense Apparently, I may be mistaken about that, but that's what I heard. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's such a, I, I remember my best friend, Dominique, got a jaywalking ticket when we were younger, and it was just, it felt so petty, you know? It was so ridiculous uh, for him to have gotten that, and like, uh, we could barely afford to pay for our bike parts, let alone a ticket. Here's that space show that we rode by. Here's a closer look. One of my commenters, Wolf, said the name of it. I forgot what it's called already. Uh, it's a really famous shuttle though. I'm sure he'll be in the comment section today too. Let us know. Anyways. A little bit of shredding for us as we get things started. So if we go left right here, we go through another big open field. You can see there's a lot of rain damage on the ground even. That corrosion, I'm sure it's from the rain that's recently been going on. Lots of mud and dirt right here. Luckily, the Suron is built for that. Built for just about anything. I had mud and mystery liquid just kick up into my mouth. So, uh, yeah. That's what we're dealing with. California Science Center right here. This is uh, where I had my high school prom. And we came here, I think, in like 6th grade for a field trip. Fun times. Anyways, off we go. There's like a lot of uh, police officers in there. I don't really want to 
start today off with the wrong attention, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep moving. Familiar start territories right here. This is the LA Football Club. Oh, almost ran into that, whoops. BMO Stadium, official stadium of the LA Football Club. Came here to watch System of a Down once. That was a fun time. Really nice uh, venue they got up in there. I definitely have low tire pressure. Dude, this thing is, is so fun to ride up. This is actually kind of sketchy doing it this way. I didn't realize. See, look here, it's, it's kind of chill. This side is steep. I think I can ride up right here. Let's find out. Or uh, do we start today in tragedy? Oh, nice. A little bit of urban enduro. What is this? It's like a photo thing. The lights are on. Yeah, the lights are on. Someone must be doing a photo shoot like right now, but they just stepped away from those are nice lights too. I don't know, don't leave them unattended for too long out here in LA. It's kind of a big drop. Can we send it off of this? Ah oh, dude, it's nothing for a Suron, man. This thing is just built different. <laughs> and, uh, it feels just as cushy. Well, I wouldn't say as cushy as my full suspension enduro EMTB, but uh it's 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 similar. Alright, we're gonna mop down, hit this left. And off we go, getting our ride started. So we're right here on the side of Figueroa Street, which we will end up coming back up. For now, I wanted to go this way a little bit. It's rare that I go this way for really any reason. I mean, there's not much going on this way except for traffic. There's a couple fun neighborhoods to check out, but once you get out of this area right here, like the, uh, the USC Science Center type area, it just, uh, you know, there's not really that much to do, but we can at least check it out real quick before we go to, you know, where we're actually aiming to be at today. All right, so here we are on Martin Luther King Boulevard in Menlo. So not Menlo Park, like the Bay Area, but uh, it is an interesting part of town to start in. A little bit different than where we usually get things going. Here on Vermont, we could make this left. We're already like in an area that I never really come ride down. The last time I was out here was, uh, dang man, it must have been like six years ago. We got the outdoor merchandise for sale. What do they got? Anything here you guys would buy? Let me know in the comments. I'll take that unicorn. Maybe the Hello Kitties. Ooh. Trying to do some mystery substances. All right, let's go ahead and pop into this, or maybe not. Maybe we'll take the next one. Let's go ahead and scoot our way around here a little bit. Yeah, last time I came through here, I, I'm pretty sure it was all my BMX. This must have been like four or five years ago. Something was going down in this complex. It was right here. I, like a fight had just started. There were like girls screaming at each other, like at the top of their lungs. And then I saw dudes coming this way. I saw like six dudes hop out of a car right here. And I was like, all right, well, uh, you know, <laughs> Nowadays, if I was on my Suron, I probably would have stuck around for a bit, but when you're on a BMX, like you're just so slow, you just don't want to be stuck in any one place ever. So I went ahead and got up on out of there. I am now rolling through, I don't know if this is a backyard or an alleyway, but there's definitely a lot of barbed wire. It looks like it is an alleyway. It is, what time is it? 4.11, it's a little later than I thought. Once you start rolling this way in the sun, it's very hard to see where you're going. Interesting scenery right here. It looks like an abandoned car. I think someone is inside of this right now. Dang. Look at that. Dang, look at that. That's like a new car spray painted. Oh, no, it's not. I was about to say, it looks like a new car that got spray painted on. Okay, we got situational awareness on high right now. I want to get a better look at this car. This is crazy. I don't think anyone's inside of it. Uh-oh, we got a dog. We got our first stray dog. Oh, he's approaching. We got a cat too. Yeah, like I said, we got to be careful about animals back here. What do you guys think? Stolen? Abandoned? I can't even really tell what's going on here. I do want to go further that way, but it's recently rained. I don't know. We got the cats out. We are in pretty active neighborhoods already. This sec oh, oh, oh. Dude, he just got right out of that fence. That's crazy. That thing is not... <laughs> If that was a big dog that got out like that, I would have been cornered. I would have been forced to go through the other way. Through the mud and just see what happens. <laughs> so some of y'all remember that time I got cornered by a husky back here. Luckily it was a friendly husky. Or at least like relatively friendly. And uh, 
Yeah, that was uh, in kind of the neighborhoods that we're checking out today. Not so much where we're at right now. Uh, I need a Big Mac, so we're about to hit the drive through Just kidding, I'm just going this way. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't even know how. I just kind of got lost in thoughts, so we am just spinning the drive through real quick. Fun fact, that was one of the first things I did when I got my first Sauron back in uh, 2021, I think that was when it was. Dang, it's already been like three years since I've been riding Sauron's. And uh, like the first week I got it, I went through the drive-thru at In-N-Out <laughs> just to see if they would let me in it. And uh, they did, they did. They really had no problem with it. I went and got a double-double in fries and then rode it home on my Sauron out there in Canyon Country. Anyways, uh, this is the other end of that alley we we're just looking at. Let's see how it looks from here. Yeah, it's just a lot of, a lot of big standing bodies of water. I do not feel like getting splashed in my face with the stagnant water today. Looking out for dogs as we cruise along. It was the same, it was, uh, as a matter of fact, I know exactly where it was. It was this next block over to the left was the alley we rode through when a dog cornered our ass. Now, the only reason that happened is because I went down a dead end alley. This is why I always tell you guys about it. why I, I, try, I try my hardest to avoid dead end alleys, y'all. They are just uh, usually a death sentence <laughs> in most cases. Because uh, once a dog catches on to your scent and they realize that you are moving slowly enough for them to catch up to, they will catch up to you. Just looking at all this graffiti back here. It's kind of wild how much uh, tagging there is. When you see tagging all over the place, like a house like this, just completely covered in tagging, you know you're in a sketchier part of town, which uh, we all know that <laughs> right now. We're in, uh, you know, South Central. Look, even the trees are tagged up. That's when you know it's, uh, yeah, and it's somewhere you want to be after dark. Anyways, off we go. We're doing a little bit of alley cruising before we get to the, uh, you know, real action today, which is going to be further southbound from where we are right now. Just getting started. It's going to be a long video today. Lock in, folks. I know you guys are itching for long, fresh content. And don't worry, I'm itching to deliver it. So we both win. I'm looking at these little streets, though. These are, these are cool to just to check out. A lot of these I've just never even, you know, been down ever. So we're just going nice and easy. We're looking at things as we do. Oh, yeah, we're on 39th Street. So the goal for today is to end up at least around 70th. That shows you how far we got to go. About 30-ish blocks southbound from where we're at right now. That's a pretty random uh, intersection. So look at this gigantic structure. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of crazy. I don't even know what this is, is being built. I know it's been been being built for a really long time though. Like at least a few years as far as I can remember seeing it. But uh, I just don't even know what this is. Like it's just a big thing. I do know that if I lived here, this is a gigantic eyesore that you now just have to live with. <laughs> it's just there every day. I wonder if this has something to do with the upcoming Olympics. I'm pretty sure we're hosting the Olympics soon, I think. I remember hearing that somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, off we go. Back on the main streets. Time to go south down, folks. We did a quick tour of some areas that I wanted to check out. And uh, we're going to keep doing that. Now, we're going south. Cool graffiti right there. Beautiful day. Man, just a great day to be outside. Shredding on the Suron. Nothing I'd rather be doing today. All right. Ooh, this would be a big no-no if I wasn't paying attention. That's an instant flat tire, especially on this. So I did a pre-ride inspection today to check out everything on my Suron. And I just realized that my rear tire is basically bald. There's almost no traction left on it. So as much as I do like these stock tires, it is time to switch them out soonish. I don't know exactly when. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a process to take the tire off of the Suron. Uh, if you have the right tools, it's easy, but without them, wow. <laughs> Good thing I did not jump on a bus or jump on the street right there. The bus would have just straight up murked me at three miles an hour. <laughs> oh man. Okay, anyways, that brings us right back to this corner, Vermont and King Boulevard. From here, we're gonna go south on Vermont for about, ooh, look at that pink car. Wow, that thing's cool. Yeah, for about 20 minutes, we're just gonna go southbound for a bit, see what's going on, hit some alleys. If we go west right here, we end up in uh, Crenshaw area, Lamert Parkish area, a lot of neighborhoods. It could be fun to free ride over there, but uh, there's just not that much visual. I thought I heard someone calling me. It's not that much visual stuff to see, like uh, you know, excitement in that sense. So we'll just be um, getting it easy as we go. Got that nine bot. Dude, everybody 
everybody's got their own personal scooter nowadays. I feel like I see those more out here. Liberty tax, man. I would do it if I had to. Don't get me wrong, there's no work that's above me. If I needed paper, man, I would hop out there and hold the sign. You got a bank. That's it. <laughs> that's it. This is almost a spot. Let's try and hop off the ledge. Oh, almost whiskey throttle it. <laughs> These slow motion hops on this thing are sometimes a little confusing. Trying to avoid the glass, but absolutely failed. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and go this way, huh? Why not? Huh? Let's, let's, let's go ahead and explore. That's the whole point of what we do. We get out and we explore a little bit. Nice truck right there. Love that. Big old tagging on the side of a house, man. That sucks. If I was a homeowner out here, I would be pissed. Straight up, I'd be pissed. Yeah, I mean, that's the only way I can put it. I would be furious. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Apartment complex right here. Nice pair of crutches. I didn't know crutches were expensive. Nothing out of the ordinary. Actually, we gotta go back and look at this. What is this? I don't know if this is artwork or what. Oh, it's Rams artwork. I, I saw this from a distance. I was like, what the hell is that? It's Rams artwork in gang tackens over it <laughs> you can't make it up man <laughs> you can't make it up that's la for you all right oh look at that clean e30 isn't that e30 bmw all right, off we go we got super sidetracked that's kind of the whole point of what i do is <laughs> just get sidetracked got fast and furious right there plus 10 horsepower with the spoiler yeah my videos for anyone new is just a uh, a long sequence of me getting sidetracked all day <laughs> pretty much that's kind of what I do. You know, I ride around and just get sidetracked. I kind of have like a loose goal in mind. And uh, some days it gets accomplished. Most days it just kind of, I just kind of ride around scatterbrained and look at cool stuff. So this could be either one. It's still anybody's call. I don't even know myself yet. I have no idea. Right now we're just in totally random neighborhoods and I'm just trying to avoid riding into the sun. Uh, we got a little sidewalk rhythm section we love those let me get off the curb look at these nice houses these are south central's finest real estate options if you have uh secured a property here back in the 90s then uh you're rich you're rich simple as that especially planted right here in between the ram stadium which is south and the la football club stadium to the east uh yeah you're uh sitting on a pot of wealth who would have seen that coming back in uh back in the early 2000s especially late 90s anyone from la knows out here late 90s Woo! yeah it's right it's just, i mean i was a, i was a tiny child back then but uh even i know back then it was just like it was just crazy out here right had the rodney king riots in the early 90s in the late 90s things were not much better so anyways we're gonna try and get back up to the main street we can get lost in these neighborhoods all day if we wish to but uh we don't wish to I thought that tiny child with a dog approaching. That goes to show you how broken my brain is where I think everything is a dog trying to eat me. Is what it is. We gotta try and get across this street. This street right here, hectic. Hectic. You will lose your life trying to walk across this street at the wrong time. Got a body shop with a little bit of cool artwork. Definitely a big dog back there. 100%. Oh, you heard him? <laughs> yeah. You just know certain places like that. You just know they got dogs. We got an alley system. It, was, it looks very clean. Oh, look, the dog's out. Uh-oh. Don't, don't. Nope, yep, just bark. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, keep moving. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep moving. Luckily, uh, friendly-ish dogs. I wouldn't necessarily say friendly all the way per se, but uh, friendly enough to not come out and eat me. So that's good. Anyways, we're at 46th Street. We are right now officially no more neighborhood surfing we're cutting back to vermont at the very least we're gonna surf down vermont for a bit see what there is on the main street because uh these neighborhoods well you'll get caught slacking sooner rather than later out here you know that's just the name of the game when you're on the side roads in south central you're getting lost long enough and uh someone will find you <laughs> you know someone will find you anyways pushing down like i said we gotta end up around at least 70 if this guy stopped in the middle of the road is that? I don't know. Ugh. Let's go ahead and get around him. A little bit of free ride action. Vermont is a relatively chill street up until you get around like 60th. And then uh, it starts to feel a little bit more hectic. We're right here while we're so close to 
you know, quote unquote civilization. It ain't, uh, it ain't much going on. It's actually nice in a lot of these parts, like you see, like there's somewhat renovated housing, you know, which is nice enough. This is where they sell student housing at, and the students have no idea that they're moving to the middle of the hood. And they're like, oh wow, it's only 2,500 bucks a month for a studio. <laughs> and they're in the, in, the, in the depths of South Central. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's what's going on out here. But they're like, oh, I'm only two miles from USC. Go figure, right? That's funny how that works out. Anyways, what's going on back here? Look at this lot. Dang. Oh, they got some cool artwork back there. Looks like it'd be fun to get back there. It's just like a, a random assortment of uh, abandoned cans, like trash cans. Oh, there's sick artwork back there. That's actually, that's fire. Anyways, look at these little pathways. That's cool. What is right here? Is this an alley? Oh, I see a black cat. I would love to try down that, but just the sight of a black cat just leads me to believe there's probably more animals. So we're gonna pass on that. My spidey senses were tingling on that one. I don't know. I don't know. I tend to, I tend to trust the spidey senses when they tingle on certain alleys. I just go ahead and, and keep it moving right on past them. I'd rather not test my luck any given day when uh, I have the option to test it or not. I'm leaning lately on the side of don't test it, unless I feel 100% locked in on an alley. Uh, what street are we on right now? Damn, what is that? Wow. Beaver Matt catering. Suddenly I'm starving. <laughs> Talk about the power of advertising. We're here on Hoover. Going south. School just let out, so there's traffic and kids walking around everywhere. We're trying to be as low key as possible. Hoover is a street that we usually come northbound up when we're done with the ride. Right now we're going southbound on it. Uh, yeah, not much else to say about Hoover. Ugh. This is uh, the street why you don't want to wear orange anywhere out in this part of town. I love my high vis, but you got to keep it green. Even I didn't know that uh, until recently. Even green is a affiliated color down in Compton. I didn't know that and I live. Uh oh, tiny dog owners. That's an ankle biter right there. Yep, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> we ain't gonna trust him, sorry. Even he's a chihuahua. <laughs> hey, the dog that bit me was bigger than chihuahua, by the way, all right? Everyone was saying, are oh, you scared of chihuahuas? No. I'm not scared of chihuahuas. I'm, I'm scared of pit bulls. I don't want to get bit by a pit bull. Or anything for that matter. I don't want to get bit by a chihuahua either. Anytime you get bit, that is a mandatory urgent care visit if the skin is broken or bruised. Life pro tip, folks. Get bit by a dog, skin's broken, bruised, go to urgent care. All right, we're gonna turn around because we could just ride into the sun right there, but we're not gonna bother. We're getting some uh, crazy looks out here in this part of town. I'm just walking with an agenda. He looked like he got someone to be and someone to see. <laughs> Hopefully that person ain't me. We're just out here cruising. We still got a long way south to go. Um, we're just kind of doing random zigzags. Very nice motorcycle right there. You know what I was thinking about the other day? If I wasn't filming this, I would be doing this anyway. I'd be getting out and riding around in places where I couldn't be bothered on this bike, even if I couldn't make videos about it. What's funny is when I first got this bike, that's what I was doing for a while. Until I realized like, why don't I just film the way that I ride this the same way that I film like on any of my other bikes. And that is when the video series that you're watching right now started. <laughs> it's pretty much just, just, I was like, I'm doing this anyway. I might as well film it, you know? That probably applies to like 99% of you guys watching this video too. You probably do something that is easily entertaining enough to be a YouTube video, but you're just not filming it. <laughs> a little bit of weird off-road right there. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're on Fig. Oh, we're pretty southbound on Fig, too. There's like something on my glasses. We gotta stop. I think it's dirt. What is that? It's like a bug. Yep, we killed a bug. Sorry, bug. Straight up splatted in my sunglasses. That is a cop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... Yep, sorry. Okay, <laughs> don't mind me. Hey, I love you, dog. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't love me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she did not seem entertained at all, either. She wanted to sick her dog on me. Okay, well, we didn't uh, attract the attention of the motorcycle cop. Now we got some RVs parked on the side of the road. One of them's got a door open. Oh, this is sketchy. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, I just, you know, chilling. I feel like if I had a, uh, if I had a house, I would buy an RV too, and I would park it in front of the house. And then it's just like having an extra house. Like, you just want to go outside and, like, get away from what's going on in the house. I don't know. For whatever reason, you just go in an RV, and then you're in an RV. Okay, that motorcycle cop is up in front of us. I, I don't want him to seem like, I don't want him to feel like I'm following him. But there's another stretch of uh, land over in this side that I wanted to check out. That I haven't been to in about, I don't know, I want to say two years. A lot of you guys are new to the channel with the 
Soron Gang Zone series, but we've been riding around in these areas for about two years now doing these videos. Now, there goes that motorcycle cop. We're just gonna go ahead and lay low, like right here. We're not gonna try and attract his attention whatsoever. Does he care about me on a Soron? Most likely not, but you know, why poke the beehive? That's what I like to say about uh, most of the situations I encounter out here in LA. He's clearly looking for someone to mess with too. Like someone to give a ticket to. Yeah, he's on, he's on, uh, he's on bumpers and he's running plates. Yeah, 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 he's running plates. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and not bother him. Hopefully we don't even appear in the rear view mirror right now, cause, uh, hey man, I'm just, yeah, hey, don't mind me. Okay, well, slip by. Hey, uh, see you later. <laughs> Alrighty, what we got here? Mark Taper, Foundational Health and Wellness Center. That's cool. Who's Mark Taper, anyone know? Who's got Google? Man, what's going on here? It's like a little outdoor strip mall. And he's got the tricycle playing into Molly's most likely or something. I don't know. Anyways, we were on Fig for a second. We're going to ultimately come back up Fig. But uh, right now, we're just kind of dipping and dodging. Where are we, as a matter of fact? Oh, I know where we're at. I know exactly where we're at because many years ago, back when I was still doing these routes on the BMX, we came through here and a police standoff ended right here. I feel like I could say that about 90-ish percent of the places that we have ridden. We've seen a police standoff either begin or end there, but uh, this is another example of uh, a place like that. We are going to try and cross here. We're going to go ahead and wait for the bus. Oh, oh, good. We're going to check out both sides of this plaza. First with this side, and then we're going to go to the other side. Homie is in all green, mobbing it across the street. Oh yeah, well, well, we do have walk sign. It may be a red light, but we are on a walk sign. Okay, well, let's see what's going on over here. I, I don't think I've ever been here on video on a Suron. I don't think, uh, maybe not, no, I've definitely not been down this street on uh, anything. I don't even think there's really much going on right here. We got a couple RVs. I don't want to get too lost in neighborhoods right now, so, okay, there's no alley right here. We're gonna go ahead and spin around, go back. Big tag right there. Oh, we got the Hello Kitty mirror. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and pop into the street right here. Where to go from here? Are we? I think we may be in that little area, that industrial section of uh, South Central that we rode through once upon a time. Maybe. I actually don't know. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on back here. We're going to make a left right here. Not want to disturb these gigantic dogs. Definitely a lot of uh, nothing back here. So, yeah, now we know. Back on Menlo Ave, right where we started. This is one of those streets that doesn't run uninterrupted north and south, but where we're at, we're gonna make a left right here on 60th. Fun fact, I grew up on 60th Street. 60th Street in Northside Long Beach, long ago. Back on Hoover, that's uh, how far out of the way we just went. I don't even know how we got here, honestly. We are just, we are straight up getting lost. That's, uh, that's the whole fun of what I do though, is the whole point is to get lost. I am going to check out this alley. Very, Cautiously though, I see a cat. I can't see where I'm going. I think I'm blocked actually. Oh yeah, we are blocked. This looks like it would be a fun alley to show red down, but that's just not a possibility with those gentlemen right there. We're gonna go ahead and turn it around. We're gonna go south a little bit further. We're just gonna try and make it as far southbound. The furthest south that we will be going is Manchester. Like I always say, not Manchester United, Manchester Street in South Central. That'd be the furthest that we go south. Will we actually go that far south? I don't know. I don't know, stay tuned to find out. We're just kind of creeping along right now, checking out the city and uh, seeing things here and there as we do it. Right here on Gage, that's a pretty good uh, sign of where we're at. A little bit of random trash right here. There's a cop right there. No one's in the squad car though. It looks like something's going on in that complex. Oh yeah, there's cops at the front of it. We're gonna go ahead and avoid that for right now. Just wanted to check out this little side street, see if there's an alley for us to check out. A little bit of trash, a banded couch, free couch right here. Gage and Hoover, anyone interested? Okay, payphone, you know what to do, if you know what to do. Uh, here at Gage, we're gonna go straight southbound, past Gage for just a hot second, nearing our turnaround. Oh, we got a park right here. How you doing? Okay, I would love to enter the park. It is, uh, looks like it's definitely off limits. I thought there was a way to enter it from over there, but looks like we gotta go right here. Oh. Well, outdoor fitness section? <laughs> Didn't even see that. Crank out some pull-ups, it's been a minute. 
<sighs> Pull up for the full face. That's how it's done, folks. Hey, you guys have uh, 20 uh, inner tubes for sale? No, a 19 inch? No, thanks. They're straight up camped up right here, man. That's tough. Get it how you live, though. That's part of life. One day, someone's gonna have a tube, and I will be able to pay them for it on the spot, and it'll be content. Until that day comes, we're gonna keep asking. All right, we got a workout in. That was, uh, you know, oh <laughs> shit. Yeah, that happened. We got an alley right here. Why not, right? When in South Central. <laughs> okay. You hear dogs barking in some of them alleys, and it just makes your skin crawl. Makes the hair stand up straight. <laughs> I'm not your skin. Your skin. <laughs> I swear. All right. Well, that was fun. That was, uh, yeah. Talk about getting sidetracked, right? We are, uh, that's, uh, that is what is going on right now. There's still a lot of ground over in these parts we got to cover. And it's gonna take a long time to do it. Look at this, uh, look at this yard with poles surrounding it. I wonder if that's a, like why that is. Just to prevent people from driving up on it. I don't know. All right, we did a nice little southbound cruise. We're now on 68th. Like I said, we're gonna make it to 70th if we can, but right now we're gonna make a left and then start cruising up. Look at this outdoor market. I love this. This is sick. How you doing? Oh uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Uh, that's badass hell yeah dude the outdoor market so cool i'm kind of on a move right now i would have stopped and bought a drink i'm not really in the uh stopping mood after we just stopped once kind of over here in the neighborhoods we're scooting our way over to fig and then from there we're gonna go northbound a little bit start there and figure it out dude the suron just goes and goes i was thinking about that today this bike requires you guys know how much i break stuff i mean i'm a big boy you know i'm 200 plus pounds i'm sitting at a cool like 215 right now i'm in pretty good shape but i break bikes man that is what i do if you want to break your bike send it to me i'll see if i can break it it probably won't take long either this thing for uh the fact that it's kind of just you know it's a lot of the parts aren't that great as a whole it kind of works pretty dang well it ain't broken on me yet so you know it is turned up right here on fig broad daylight <laughs> just sitting there eating hot chips in the middle of it. Good Lord Almighty. Fig is wild. All right, so I kind of wanted to go further south on Fig right now. We're on 69th. Uh, what? Let's see. What would be the goal here? Damn, there's a lot of traffic. What's going on? I think we could go a little bit further south and then turn around and come back up this way. Oh. I have something right there. Never a dull moment out here, you know? It's always like uh, you see something a little different each time you come out here. Okay, so the question here is how far south are we willing to go? We're on Florence. I'm pretty sure the next big street is Manchester because I remember coming through here the day that I started on Manchester and went up that way. Uh, could that be the case? Hard to say, but uh, what I will say is that even on a Monday, <laughs> it's big is active as always okay so i kind of just don't want to go much further south from right here Ugh, let's pop up on the curb and examine our options for a second uh if we go further south from here we're going to be just in the trenches what do you say folks vote right now do i go further south or do i go back north i'm kind of i'm kind of divided i'm going to start off by crossing you know we recently had the uh anniversary it's funny to call it that but yeah the anniversary of the um, north hollywood bank robbery who in here knows about that if you don't know google that uh it was like the 20 the, the anniversary of it was the other day or something every time i see a, a bridge truck i think about that anywho i wonder if all the traffic here is because there's women on the street i wonder if that uh if there's any correlation there you know i wouldn't deem it unlikely holy good god almighty that is crazy all right, we crossed the infamous fig. Look at this pile of trash. It's been here for over a year now. This exact same pile in the same uh, volume, one could say. Just dang, look at this, bro. This has got to be a haven for roaches and rats and all types of crap. I wonder if there's anything useful in there. It'd be hard to tell in case he actually, unless he actually got in there and looked. Here's a tool emporium. I'm just mobbing on that little thing. 
this has been outdoors like this forever. I mean, one day I might come by here and buy a tool, honestly. They got all types of stuff for sale. All right, we're gonna cut back across. We're out here getting jiggy with it. Alrighty, northbound on Fig for a hot second. Let's see what else is going on on the main road, the one that leads you to downtown LA and then out of downtown LA. Depending on where you're trying to go, you know? Oh, good doggy. That is just, that is nothing left to the imagination is what we call that one. That is called nothing left to the imagination, folks. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's one of my favorite parts coming up big, though. Straighten up uh, the grass sidewalk. Oh. Hey, phone. This is Burger Spot, which has always got a line. This is actually the shortest line I've seen ever. <laughs> so only one person and then one guy who already ordered all right so we got a couple alleys we could take back that way but right now uh we're just jamming we're jamming got a pigeon on a loose i think i just rode through fresh paint that sucks we will be uh riding on fig all summer so uh stay tuned if you think today's crazy just wait till it starts to warm up out here today's like a sign it's a monday it's relatively early and uh, it's just insane out here. So it's only gonna get crazier, folks. Graffiti right there, but other than that, we're just kind of mopping back. This is where I slipped out a couple videos ago. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Yay. You know, I just wanna give a shout out to all my fans out here in South Central. I free ride for y'all. And I mean that seriously too. Some of you guys are always commenting and saying like, oh, you rode past my house. You know, that's cool. If you guys ever see anything you recognize in videos, always leave it in the comments. Uh, I myself and I'm sure many others enjoy reading that stuff. It's cool, you know, because I'm really out here, <laughs> folks. In case, you, in case you didn't know, this is not CGI yet. You know, we're not there yet. This is not AI video. Will it be in the future? I don't know. Imagine if I could just, imagine if someone could just AI me. You guys see the AI video that's out now or it's coming out? Imagine if someone just did what I did, but it's just AI. I think it'd be a little, it'd be very complex. We're, we're, we're very far away from that still because you know i'm sure half of the reason you guys watch is my narration you know me talking maybe and another half is the writing and then i don't know what the rest of y'all are here for i mean who knows maybe you just ended up here youtube right here and you're like oh, you know what screw it let's tune in see what this guy's up to today whatever the case may be i appreciate you being here you know but uh will ai take over Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. When will we start seeing AI YouTubers that are actually worth watching and don't completely suck? Still so much ground for us to explore out here in these parts of town. Like this whole neighborhood over here, uh, Slauson and Fig going west on Slauson. There's tons of ground for me to explore. I can go west on Slauson until we hit the Slauson Supermall. Y'all know the one from GTA. And uh, explore around there for a bit, come back up Fig. I mean, honestly, everything involves coming back up Fig. It's just, it's just the best way to end the ride. Uh, for many reasons. One, it's the most interesting road for uh, a few reasons. Two, it's the safest road to come back up, traffic-wise. For me personally, it's what I've seen in my uh, my experiments in taking all the streets northbound. Fig is the, the most chill as far as people not flooring it like crazy. I mean, there's still plenty who do, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, it's there's not an impending sense of doom and death every time I ride up Fig, basically, so big reason why I come back up. Anyways, there's someone said regular bikes or acoustic bikes, and I thought that was the worst thing ever, but now I'm saying it. Like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta cut that one out. Like, there's e-bikes and then acoustic bikes, it just sounds silly. But, like, it makes sense in a weird way. It just kind of does, so. It caught on to me saying it. Do you guys call regular pedal bikes acoustic bikes? I think that's, that's kind of dumb, but I don't know. Oh, look at that field. Okay, mental note, we're coming back there later this week or next week. Definitely checking out that field and much more on Fig in the next episode of Riding Our Sur on in the streets of LA. Full feed. All right, we're humming. We got to get back to USC one way or another. We're just kind of tanking it. We are tanking it in the street right here along this Tahoe. Uh, I don't really like doing this because it is not that visible on this Suron compared to being in a car or even like an actual motorcycle. So that's why I don't really ride it in the street like I'm a car. Like, what the hell? Is, is this? Uh, what, where are you going? 
Do not go into the street, please. Dude, we're about to see real life chicken cross the road. We gotta round him back in like a sheep dog. Yeah, get back in there. Come on, go back in there. Get back in there. What are you doing? What the? <laughs> oh my God, bro. You can't make this stuff up, man. This is all, you can't make it up. People. <laughs> Like I told you, I'd be doing this anyway, man. If I wasn't making videos, I'd be out here doing this anyway. There's nothing more fun than just getting out and riding around your neighborhood, man. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. There's uh, there's just, there's, I don't even know what would be more fun to do with a Monday afternoon. Because the moments like that, you see a chicken just uh, spawn. The chicken just spawned right there out of nowhere. Wait, what was on a, oh. Does he know? He's gotta know. What is going on? His front end is dented and he's on a flat and he's just mobbing. Dude, what is going on? Uh, okay. Like, I, I, I'm thinking about telling him, but clearly he knows, so we're just gonna go ahead and mind our own business. Yeah, he's gotta figure that one out, dude. That's kinda, that's kinda, that is just, uh, not good. It's the main way I'd phrase that, it's not good. Just another day of uh, riding in South Central, folks. Some of the many things you see on a bike ride. Do we have an alley right here? Oh, we do. We may check that out. A dirt bike just chilling. Love that, that thing's sick. I'm gonna be thinking about that flat tire all night. How, how did that happen? That's, that was one of the stranger things we saw today. A little bit of tent action, that was normal. Got the 110 freeway below us. Let's see. Oh, oh dude, that sucks as a male person. She's like, this, <laughs> she's like, oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> I ain't dealing with no dang dogs. What is this? U.S. Diplomacy Reserved. And then there's a square, a triangle, and a circle. I got those backwards too. Circle, triangle, square. But what? That's like the cleanest, most reasonable graffiti I've seen ever in South Central. Last time I was out here, I saw something that I thought was gibberish, but you guys said it was from from some anime, right? Like One Piece? I think you guys said it was from One Piece. I've never watched One Piece. The last anime I watched, dude, I, this is probably gonna age me. The last anime I watched was fully coolie and i was like in sixth grade <laughs> it's the last time i ever watched anime so it's been a while i tried to get into attack on titan but i just don't watch like tv you know i'm i just my brain my attention span is just completely decimated by playing video games so i can't even lock in on any tv show and pay attention to what's going on i just immediately lose focus so i wasn't able to get into it but if i was to watch an anime i'd probably start there with uh attack on titan Anywho, right now, we're hitting the gas. Wow, what a full ride. We got a, uh, a little back neighborhood adventure. We hit some alleys. We hit fig. Got a little bit of off-roading. You know, a little bit of everything. I'm, I'm really loving how comfortable I'm getting on this bike. I really feel like I can handle it in a way that I could not a year ago. And, uh, you know, it's still bone stuff. Now it's like... I would like to upgrade a few things on this bike, but it's like I'm so used to riding it how it is stock that like I feel like if I change certain things, it changes the the characteristics of the bike too much. Like I want to put a 16. I feel like you know it's, once I start making it heavier, it's going to be less fun. Right now, it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. So I'm trying to just keep it that way. Still on fig. We got the big old BMO Stadium. It just truly looks massive from right here. Very impressive piece of LA architecture right there. Very cool. And then we hit walk speed once again. Wow. That's wow, folks. The things you can do on this bike. The sky's the limit. Dude, someone just, someone just tie their dog to a hydrant and leave him? Is this guy just riding along with a bike? We're having another glitch moment. Dude, whose dog is this? Dude, oh, she looks terrified, bro. She's like, oh, her mouth is trembling. Oh, she's looking for it on her, bro. What is going on? Hey, here's your dog? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I was worried for her, man. She looks so scared. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, it's okay. Hey, take care, man. <laughs> I, you guys know I'm more weird of anything than, uh, about the, the Look at this dude just sending it with his bike that he just uh, acquired. In, in the traffic. In the oncoming traffic. Just doesn't care. That was one of the more bizarre things we've seen today was that... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, go down. Start. Where, where do we start, huh? Just go down the list of uh, weird moments from today. I don't even. <laughs> oh man, 
some days all you gotta do is get outside you know and then it's just, it, 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 you just see life happening sometimes life is weirder than anything you can make up <laughs> isn't that the funny part all right folks that wraps up another banger if you enjoy get in the comments down below let me know like the video if you like the video as always thanks for watching get on hitstand.com if you want to support me and what i do and possibly win a surround for yourself but of course all i said thanks for watching see you guys in the next video very soon peace out